Calixto Anaya Jr. Joseph. Remembering September 11, 2001. Today marks 19 years since the terror attacks in New York City, Washington, D.C., and Pennsylvania that killed nearly 3,000 people. The 19th anniversary of the September 11th the terror attacks is different this year because of the coronavirus. A disagreement over health precautions have led to two separate remembrances in Lower Manhattan. That's where CBS 4's Nancy Chen is live with more on the somber morning. Nancy? Maribel, good afternoon to you. Despite the pandemic canceling the traditional live reading of victims' names, loved ones came here to pay their respects and say it's important to never forget. The September 11th ceremony at the 9-11 Memorial in Lower Manhattan included moments of silence, but this year it did not include the traditional live reading of the victims' names because of coronavirus concerns. Instead, it was a recording of the names. And my brother. Some victims' family members who were upset by that decision set up their own ceremony nearby. We knew that it was of the utmost importance that we read aloud the names of all 2,977 Seven souls who perished 19 years ago today. 9-11 observances are also different this year at the Pentagon, where military leaders conducted the ceremony without victims' families in attendance. We never forget those who were murdered by the terrorists. And at the Flight 93 Memorial near Shanksville, Pennsylvania, the usual 90-minute ceremony was abbreviated. Here in New York, the fire commissioner strongly recommended firefighters skip 9-11 observances during the pandemic. The department lost 343 members that day. Firefighter Leonard Regoglia Sr., a member of Engine 54, was one of them. His two sons, Leonard Jr. and Anthony, are honoring him by following in his footsteps. I have the honor and privilege of working in the same firehouse that he worked in, the same company. So it really means a lot to me. I always looked up to my dad and what he did. And then I think as I matured and as the time went on, uh, year after year, it became more and more of something I wanted to do. They say they think their father would be proud. And the annual tribute in light with beams of light standing in for the Twin Towers was held last night, despite initially being canceled over coronavirus concerns. Nancy Chen, CBS4 News.